हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू एडी जेड टी वी चेंज मोकर्स न्यू एल्बम आउट वर्ल्ड वॉर जॉय द लास्ट फोर सॉन्ग्स कमिंग आउट जस्ट कपल ऑफ डेज आई थिंक सो फिफ्थ ऑफ डिसम्बर येस फिफ्थ ऑफ डिसम्बर आई गेस फिफ्थ और सिक्स आई कैंट रिमेंबर बट इट्स आउट चेन स्मोकर्स वर्ल्ड वॉर जॉय द लास्ट फोर सॉन्ग्स बींग विथ ब्लिंक वन एटी टू सबरीना क्लाउडियो काइगो एंड एम ए शाक so uh, in this video as usual uh, like the last time when they released sick boy i'm going to give a review of this album uh, and talk about uh, it uh, i'm a very big chase poker fan so i had a lot of uh, expectations and most of it was delivered and to know which let's see below so let's talk about the first uh, song who do you love featuring five summer seconds of summer uh, lock and electronic mixing together uh, when it was first came out uh, not instant love as such but still for that time it was released in february and uh, since it's the first song uh, uh, i had uh, i liked it quite a lot uh, and it was quite good uh, overall uh, the song uh, was quite nice the vocals as you, as i said were literally amazing uh, and i loved the song a lot uh, 8.1 out of 10 uh, because uh, overall uh, The thing that made me start hitting this song was uh, mostly the five sauce fans who were there, especially the acidic ones. Uh, not saying that five sauce, all five sauce fans are bad. Like uh, they started putting a lot of hate messages, which made me also start hating the song a little. But that didn't mean that I didn't like the song. The song is still beautiful and a perfect eight point one. Second, uh, kills you slowly, eight point nine. Okay, Chase Focus releasing a single without any collaboration. The kills you slowly. This was quite strange because it suddenly went to. Uh, how can I say? This was quite a pop song, and uh, like how to? Uh, I don't know how to explain it as such, but it kind of went off track. But a good, it was good. The uh, the way it went, like instead of going on the rails, it went on the road, and. Uh, It was still good. Uh, overall, the song was quite nice, a quite calming song, uh, and I enjoyed it a lot uh, till it was there. Third, who do you, do you mean? Uh, featuring uh, Thank You, Dollar Sign, and Bulo. Okay, now get it. Uh, this song was the third song released, and uh, another collab with an R&B artist, R&B rap. Uh, I don't know all Bulo is, but I consider it R&B and rap uh, since uh, somebody. it was quite long so as always uh, actually it was very underrated when uh, it was released in the starting uh, had to listen it uh, through three four maybe quite a for quite a number of weeks then i started getting a little depth but uh, overall not so uh, shining and uh, a perfect 8.5 uh, not such a bad song i actually think this may be one of chase book's most underrated song after beach house uh, 8.5 Next, call you mine, featuring Baby Vexa. This was the collab which was needed in the first when the EP came out. Call you mine with Baby Vexa. This thus ended up everything that had to be ended. It was literally a beautiful song. I had no words to describe. Uh, the energy in this song was so great that you know when you listen to this song. You feel energetic at a different level, and uh, they were for eight years they knew each other, and finally they collab, and they released "Call You Mine," which is a complete banger. The music video being more interesting because it's completely in complete reverse order, so you had to reverse the reverse video to get a proper video and know what actually happened. A beautiful video overall, and a beautiful song too. Nine point two. Next, take away Elenium featuring Lennon Stella. This was mind blowing. When I mean mind blowing, means I mean mind blowing. Uh, I don't know when it was dropped uh, during a performance. Maybe in the start of the uh, year itself. I can't remember between which song. I think it was between uh, "Who Do You Love" and "Kill You Slowly." It was done in a live performance. I can't remember. But when this was dropped, oh my god! Every single damn chain smoker fan wanted them to drop this song. It was a must. We couldn't live without it. And then they finally took ages, but they dropped it. And oh my god, it's the best song in the album. I seriously, 
and everyone agrees this is one of the best songs because James Bond literally collab with Elenium uh, and it was so good in electronic plus Lennon Stella giving such amazing voice to it it was beautiful if not uh, I don't have words to express it was the best song in the album it was splendid uh, now let's go to the next one uh, push my luck this song also well, uh, the change focus took a big gap uh, up after be after releasing take away to give uh, take away some time and its space they released another single uh, without any collab and the last one also which i thought they would have more singles without any collabs but uh, it came out that push my luck and um, starting it's a pop and then when the electronic comes into it like the fusion is so beautiful that you cannot hate this song i seriously loved it a lot it was like the fusion just matched it and the ending electronic part just makes it more amazing it would have been best better if the it was completely electronic i tell you it was a splendid beautiful song to be released between that gap amazing and uh, it was a beautiful i think one of the best singles they have released Uh, by themselves, without another collaborator in this album, the, I just loved it. I just loved it. Next, P.S. I hope you're happy. Uh, featuring Bling 182. If you're not a Chainsmoker fan and uh, you just wanted to know, you do, means you don't follow them. This was the first song uh, then uh, teased by the Chainsmoker. They teased it in January, the start of the year. They said they wrote a song with Bling 182. Obviously, they didn't tell the name of the song. So. It was obvious that the chain smoker fan was waiting for this to come. The question was when, and they decided to release it in the end of the year, yes, in December. This was one of those last four songs which was released on 5th December. This song is great. It has the great rock and electronic mix. Uh, Drew and uh, the singer of Bling 182, their voice match well. And uh, since it's quite early, I cannot actually say how great this song is, uh, but still. Uh, I loved it. The rock sounds well, and their voices match up also very good and extremely well. Let's go to next. See the way, featuring Sabrina Claudio. Okay, so uh, not that I hate this song, but this is my least favorite song in the entire album. Uh, I don't know why it's overall quite well, but I think since it's really close, uh, it's just really just need to take me time to like it also maybe, or maybe that uh, just the song is not meant for me. Uh, this is nice electronic uh, mix in it. Uh, the last four songs actually just to put a lot of electronic in it, which, to tell you the truth, I love the most, and um, that was quite good. So let's hope uh, that I may end up. Last time I said this, uh, it was of the song Hope, that I may start liking it later because Hope was released last also, and it ended up as a very good, beautiful song. Same way I expect for See the Way, but for now, uh, least favorite, I guess. Next family with Kygo. Oh my God! For any Chainsmoker fan, collaborating with another EDM artist. Last time they did it was with Azar, and before that with Nightmare, uh, Cyber, and Save Yourself in the last album. And before that, uh, quite a long it was with Tisto, and finally collaborating with Kygo. Oh my God! This song is the perfect song you can play for any family occasion. any family occasion and dance to it oh my god the electronics beats amazing uh, the lyrics perfectly fine this is a family reunion i uh, suggest you all should play this song it is absolutely good absolutely amazing just beautiful and i love it like anything else just beautiful uh the best family song you could ever get from a chain smoker uh and actually not expected because uh, I thought there would be something about love or something, but yes, it is love, but family love, which I tell many artists don't even put in their songs this time. So it's very great to see such a beautiful song. Next, the Reaper featuring Amy Shark. This is the best song in the album for me. The first and the only song in the entire song, uh, in the entire album, that was love when I first heard it. Oh my God, when the song, I just heard it. It drove me crazy, and the lyric video. Oh my God! Go and just watch the lyric video. It is amazingly good. The reason why is because uh, I love a dark, a little dark song. And finally, since somebody, this was released. You remember the Chase Mogasik boy? They're starting for songs. Uh, I started liking them 
the starting pro actually to tell you the truth like hell yeah i loved him when this is the first pro and the reaper just breaks through there and oh my god it is the best song in the album it is beautiful i believe this is the best song amy sharp's voice is amazing if not uh, too good and uh, three tiger also singing the electronic beats which is perfectly great it is the best song in the entire album my favorite my love i can say uh, i just love it a lot uh, thank you guys for watching this video stay tuned more into the team videos for you thank you for all that my three friends the chain focus sxs chain focus worldwide who you all may know has helped me in many of the videos and also the sick boys uh, all chain smoker fan pages i links in the description below on instagram uh, please do follow them they put amazing chain smoker content and uh, they are very uh, great guys help a lot especially when uh, the chain smoker the sick boys help me uh, get the songs before they were officially released uh, so which helped me a lot chain smokers worldwide as i told you always knows every single detail of the chain smokers before even you may know it and the chain smokers uh, sxs is also a great uh chase mocha fan page from japan so if you're any japanese followers um, uh, subscribe mine do go and check him out take care see you in a while guys uh do subscribe but let's touch the 1000 subscribers as soon as possible i really want to touch it i mean okay not 1000 uh i mean 10,000 no. i'm just 1000 let's just try to do it thank you see you soon